This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by the 2012 Ford Mustang. It's the holidays, and that means you're probably home visiting the relatives. Since you're most likely the geek of the bunch, this means you'll be fielding all sorts of tech support questions, including the dreaded, there's something wrong with my computer, can you take a look at it? This usually leads to a full day's worth or more of deleting unnecessary browser toolbars, updating virus definitions, and basically trying to salvage what's left of the poor machine. Today, I'm going to share with you the Texilla approved and fan submitted ideas for parent proofing the home PC. So first off, uh, one thing that a lot of people recommended was creating a guest account. That <laughs> yes. is a surefire way to make sure that they don't install a bunch of random stuff all over the computer. They don't have access to installing applications. They can't make any major system changes. You, you've taken away their admin privileges. Yeah, it generally keeps things safe. It, this is a step if you're really scared yeah. about them messing things up. Um, so you just go in, you create a guest account, and uh, make sure it's turned on, give them the password, and mm -hmm. then there you go. And then the next time you come over, you can log into the admin account and make <laughs> any changes you need to or updates, but you know that they can't go in there and seriously screw things up. There is one downside to this. What's that? Every time they try to install a new application, if you set it up, they're so going to they call can, you. Yeah. Well, What's that, you, the password? What's may, an admin? <laughs> you may have to warn them that I have I've put on the mittens. I've put on your mittens. You can't you can't do anything serious to the machine. You can paw at it and look the around on, on, on Google. Safety is on. The it. keys are locked in the backyard. I right. buried the keys in the backyard. You may not drive. They might not like it, but they have to live with it. Uh, the next <laughs> big suggestion was nuke IE and give them Chrome. This came from Mike R. And we've talked about this a million times. Uh, Internet Explorer 9 is undoubtedly more secure than previous versions, but Chrome still comes out on top. Plus, there will be far fewer <laughs> annoying toolbars to ever have to worry about again. And then install Adblocker for increased sanity. You won't see all those flashing flash ads and all sorts of junk that they usually get. Like you know, it's like a shiny thing, like it's a crow. Like I'm right. gonna click on this thing and add a toolbar. Somebody's machine where they have like five toolbars stacked up. I have seen that for <laughs> sure. Many places, I shall not name names. <coughs> <coughs> Toolbars, you don't need the Yahoo toolbar. Okay, next up. Um, <laughs> install Microsoft Security Essentials and run Windows Update. This comes from Luke S. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've talked about Microsoft Security Essentials a million times. Uh, this should probably be the first thing you do. It's totally free, it updates automatically, and it runs on Vista, XP, and Windows 7. Sorry, all you Windows ME users out there. I know there's probably still a few of you, especially if you're playing on your parents' computer. It's time. <laughs> I'm not talking smack on all parents, by the way. I just know that a lot of my friends and people of our generation have a hard yeah. time, you know, going home for the holidays. And, and trying to help out people who may not use technology as frequently as we do in our day-to-day -day lives. It could be an aunt, it could be a brother, it could be a sister. I, I bought my parents a Mac. <laughs> <laughs> More on that later. Uh, next up, OpenDNS with the malware filters enabled. This comes from Sean C. Um, installing OpenDNS will allow you to block harmful websites, including phishing sites, and it will report back to you if the PC becomes a zombie. And if you're really embarrassed that your dad is on Facebook, just block it. Aww. Just block it. All that's right. mean. I know, that's totally mean. Maybe <laughs> maybe skip that part. Uh, but OpenDNS is, is fantastic, and uh, a lot of computers would benefit for having that put on you there. Realize, there's an entire generation of teenagers now installing OpenDNS in their home routers for their like, parents so they I can, can block them. I can prevent the, the fear and the, the panic of seeing my parents on Facebook, yes. Or, or prevent the parents from seeing what they're posting on Facebook. Hmm, mm. intriguing. In the case, one to install it on their computer, not on the NAS. But. This is another one that we've talked about many times, and it was uh, sent in to us by many users. Uh, set up remote desktop or something like GoToAssist, for example. Um, if you don't live close enough to give in-person tech support, lucky you, uh, <laughs> make sure you set up remote desktop or something like log me in, go to assist. You can fix issues, so you can fix issues on the computer from the comfort and relative safety of your own home. Nice. Um, someone else recommended too, um, mobile PC monitor. Uh, Charlie H sent this one in. This app will let you monitor up to three PCs from basically anywhere, including your smartphone, um, so you can get notifications when something goes wrong instantly, and even make live <laughs> fixes and updates right from your smartphone to their PC. I can't say if it's really cool or really awful getting like your phone vibrating every time your parents do something. You're out at a nice dinner and you're like, oh, not again. <laughs> Dad's on one of those websites again. <laughs>
<laughs> now Mom our, downloaded Yahoo's toolbar again. <laughs> yeah, this, so our top suggestion was not too surprising coming from you guys. It was install Ubuntu. Oh boy. I don't know if this is going to be a good fix for everyone because a lot of people, you know, especially people who may not be so technologically right. savvy, will shrink back in fear of having to use something that is not exactly like what they've used a for years A friend of mine years. kept Windows like 3.1 running on his dad's system mm -hmm. for a good five years past any reasonable expectation just because it was how his dad liked to play checkers. There you go. On Yahoo. It's, it was like it's Yahoo checkers. Changing Yahoo people's games. minds can be very difficult, but if you want to give them a, give it a shot, you know, maybe install Ubuntu, show them, show them what it looks like. Maybe show it on your own computer first right. so they can kind of get a feel for it and play around a little bit and see that it's not it's not that scary and different. Well, this is a it's better, just Ubuntu. This is an easier one if you live closer to your parents because mm -hmm. like if your parents are the only one or by the way this works in reverse if, if your kids if you're the tech support for your kids and, and your kids are like why can't I run this app or, or your parents are like why can't I run this app well it's Ubuntu I can find an app that's like that that could be a little yeah. you know, frustrating. Um, I'm excited my mom got an iPhone for the Ooh. first time it's her first smartphone I'm gonna teach her how 4S. to use it she did get a 4S. Nice. She's Emma. very excited about being able to uh, verbalize text messages easily. <laughs> That's something she's she's stoked about. And I'm excited. I'm happy to just get her back Siri, on text messages. Siri, tell me what my daughter is doing right now. <laughs> where Siri? is she's gonna use find she's gonna use find my friends? Be like, where is Veronica right now? <laughs> I'm like, ah. So that should be fun. Siri. Tell my mom to leave me alone. Oh my goodness, there's more Techzilla coming right up. The Ford Mustang is our sponsor again today and we love riding around in our sweet candy apple red GT. Our new Mustang uses Ford's My Color system to give you ambient light for just the right mood. Lights in the front and rear foot wells, doors, instrument panels, and even cup holders can all be customized. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for all our CES coverage coming up in January. We'll be out there with our Mustangs, scoping out all the latest technology and checking in on the latest from Ford as well. Thanks again to Ford and the 2012 Mustang for sponsoring the show today.